Hey, fiance. Hi. Well, for those of you that don't know or do know and are coming to watch the video, Justin and I are engaged. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> um, he proposed back at the end of September after we had gone to London and Paris. Didn't propose there, but proposed back in Duluth, Minnesota. And so we're just kind of sharing about our fun, special day. Everyone uh, that was involved was worried that you would think it was happening in Paris. No, I knew it wasn't. And we got to this point where I was almost convinced to say something ahead of that trip. Like, hey, just so you know, it's it's not going to happen in Paris just because like everyone was scared about the big letdown <laughs> and that you would just be going through every day so excited. And then at the end of each day, it's just like, oh, I like you just not knowing. But I told my dad, I was like, he's going to propose in Minnesota. And so your dad one day came to me and goes, yeah, remember that Paris thing we talked about? Yeah. You don't need to worry about that. You don't <laughs> even need to mention anything. No, I had a feeling it was going to be Minnesota. But did you think Minnesota at the end of that crazy trip? Because I don't know. The ring was with us the entire time. Yeah. So why don't we back up a little bit first? So Justin and I met on Hinge in August of 2018. Yep. That's crazy. Probably earlier. I think we it was met 2018. in person in August. Okay. So Hinge maybe like July. End of July. I have screenshots. Yeah. You should post those on this video. That'd I be good. I should find them. But, um, we met on Hinge and like I just kept canceling on him. I had a bachelorette party and was hungover for three days. So I had to cancel our first date. And then we ended up going or I ended up having a trip and I was like, hey, sorry, we're going to have to like postpone this for, you know, a couple of weeks until I get back. I'm going to Minnesota. And he texted back and he was like, oh, that's funny. I'm actually going to Minnesota, too. Yeah. So we had our first date at Cowboy Jack's in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Which we've for sure been there together before without knowing it. You would think like Minnesota is really small. And this was one of our like go to college bars. And it was just so it was just like it was this perfect scenario of like a first date in Minnesota with a guy that's from Minnesota but lives in L.A., but I didn't know it was a date. Who wants I, to be my friend? I thought Justin was trying to like pull a friend move and like truly, to. truly wanted to make new friends in LA because on Hinge, I, I wasn't really the best responder. He was like, hey, I just moved here from New York, but I'm from Minnesota. Saw you're from Minnesota. Thought it would be great to make friends. I knew if you were actually from Minnesota, I knew it would work. Yeah, so... We ended up having our first date in Minnesota, coming back to LA, started hanging out here. We watched a Vikings game at his house together. And I still thought, okay, yeah, just friends. And then we go to the nun and he puts his hand. Because that's my second attempt at making one of those moves. So I knew that I, I had to play the friend card, yeah. the Minnesota card, because I knew that would work. And then number two, I knew, okay, time for a scary movie and I can make the move because it's a lot easier to do it at a scary movie when it's all like oh like you get all scared and you I get more scary cuddly to you guys I hate them so he did and this might be a part in the video where we we give you Lauren's take because Lauren was there really early on and um, we kind of went back and forth you know talking about this with her and just how I'm kind of lied to myself and it went on for a couple months of us, you know, realizing, okay, no, we're not just friends. And we'll see. We'll see how we splice this together. But this might be where Lauren hops in. This is our our engagement recap. Just you kind of telling your side of when I put you on the spot and said straight to your face, something something fishy is going on here today. Um, oh, I you don't think you said that. I think, no, oh. I, I literally looked right at her face. Oh my I God. Go, she like bodied me. Like she like walked right up to me and like squares off like a standoff. And she looks at me and she gives me like this, like, like shit grin. You know, she's like, <laughs> she's like, I think something's fishy going on today. Just feels a little off. And she kind of like smiles at me and she's waiting for me to crack. And internally I was like, ah, 
<laughs> what was the distance between you two? Very close. Extremely was, close. She was, like, awkward. She's like never been that close to me. It like, was intimate. But yeah. like even for how close of friends you guys are, it was awkward space. Well, you know what I'm saying? It was close. But was I also, close. I think I said like, I was like, I said something where I was like, I think something's going on today. Yeah. I think Justin's proposing. Yeah. And then, no, and but then, no, but you waited. So first she did that. And then I, I didn't, I all of a sudden I was, freaking out inside and I was like holy shit I've never been like confronted like this am I going to crack I don't know what to do like do I start laughing I was like there were so many emotions I'm like do I laugh do I cry I don't know what to do and then I was like what would you do if you actually genuinely didn't know like act exactly how you would so I was just like why are you smiling at me <laughs> and then she goes and then she goes I don't know what she goes she goes I thought like I just I think Justin's gonna propose today I did this because I felt crazy yeah. and then I crazy and then I looked at her and then I go and I'm like holy shit I'm like she just said what's gonna happen like I don't know how to like I don't know what to do and I was like if I say no he's not then that's gonna look weird so and then I was like so I panicked inside and then all of a sudden I go what would I do if I was just me and I go Oh my God, are you serious? You think he's gonna propose today? <laughs> no, but it wasn't excited. Lauren literally goes, because Lauren like had just been like going through stuff and it was like very clear. She yeah. was like emotionally like kind of like burnt out. This is true. And so she looks at me with these big eyes, <laughs> tears welling in them. And she goes, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> I I don't think I can handle this today. <laughs> and starts yeah. like her voice starts like yeah. cracking. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. I go, well, fuck, she doesn't know because she's about to fucking cry. Yeah. She was like on the verge of tears. Yeah. Nice play. Yeah, Lauren. I know. And, nice play. And I'd then my, I had my best players out for this you, one. You did. Yeah. You put your A team oh, in. It had was to. My absolute favorite part is that me and Morgan walked to the horses by ourselves and Alejandra is like busy making like a carrot cake. She's inside. like, I'm gonna stay inside frosting this cake. You guys got it. And then she goes, and so then, but then after that, I did say, you're right. I, I mix it up because I did say, like, I don't know if I can handle this today. But then I went back and I was just like because she kept talking about it and I was like you're right I was like that does seem fishy <gasps> oh my god like I can't believe she had it. to play this in is, a yeah, little I was like if this is actually the day I'm like yeah like I, I was, hope it's the day that'd yeah, be so cool yeah like, and I'm like I can't like I and I was like oh my god like I need to wear something nice the then fact, or whatever. the fact that you were such a good liar and yeah. <laughs> the fact that I actually believed that she didn't know I was like I feel like he would tell her like okay maybe it's not today yeah and then she um and then when we were walking back in, Alejandra was on the phone. And, and she was looking out the window. She was like looking yeah. out the window, making sure she could see us. And I go, I, I turn to Lauren. And she goes, I think she's in on it. <laughs> and I was like, really? You said that. I said no. that. Oh, she I thought Lauren that. played that no, card. No, no, and I was no, like, no, damn. No, 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 that would have been, been good. That would have been actually epic. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> that would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been hilarious. No, I wish I wasn't that good, but I was really impressed because I've always like tried to like make it like my mantra to not lie, you know. So, but I, but initially when I saw her on the phone, I go, "She's on the phone with him. Like she's definitely talking to him. That's why she stayed in the house." But we got back in the house, and it was like, "Yeah, you know, I'm unsure about these negotiations. I think he would be better at this firm or blah blah blah." blah. Like she was actually talking. I think like she, she was on a work. Call. I think she actually was on a work call. I think she talked to Justin, and then she was on a work call. So I think that was she's legit. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because I was like, okay, well, she's not on the phone with them because this is she's on a work call. Right. The biggest conversation her and I had was probably thirty minutes of her drive up to the farm mm -hmm. because it was like, all right, is everything set? Do we have all of we need to see around the corner before Morgan does? So if she asks you this, what's the response? If she <laughs> puts up a fit about Wild State, what's the backup plan? If she calls me and says, oh, are you coming back from the land? What's the plan? What's our backup plan? We had an idea for every possible thing nice. you could pot, you could come up with. Yeah. And so- Yeah, you guys did good. It just, it was a combination of, you know, all of these things. It, there's so many wild cards, which made it so difficult. You're controlling a lot of uh, external variables you can't yeah. account for. Fucking yes. Jerry. Jerry playing cards at the place that you guys first became Did he play cards girlfriend? in the restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. He was downstairs. Yeah. I and thought like, he just walked in to get food. Because my friend no, Amanda he's didn't. playing cards. God damn it. It's like I should call Amanda. Be like, do you know you're the reason I really started getting fishy? Yeah. But I did go. I went to this like small boutique. Are you mad at her at all or no? No. Okay. No, because I was <laughs> all so. All Hunter was. I was like, God damn it. Like, jokingly I was mad, so, of course. I know. I was so paranoid. And 
I literally probably looked like a crazy person. And I wonder if the girl that I worked with at this boutique went and looked at my socials after because I was nuts in this store, you guys. Like <laughs> I literally the night before, I'm like, God, why would he propose? He knows all of my clothes are dirty from traveling. I have no clean underwear even. I go, why would he do this to me? I panicked. I got up in the morning. I immediately at 10 a.m. when they opened, go to this boutique and it's pouring rain in Duluth. I could barely drive. And I'm like, they're not even going to be open. Like they probably closed because of the rain. They're open. And this girl, like I walk in, I'm like looking at stuff and she goes, oh, like what are you shopping for today? And I'm like, I don't know. I might be getting proposed to. <laughs> either I'm not getting proposed or I'm getting proposed to. But like, I don't know. Either way, I probably sound crazy to you right now. But I think I'm getting proposed. But I'm not sure. if I, And if I'm not getting proposed, I'm going to like my brother's work dinner. I don't know. But I think I'm getting proposed. Are you happy with the outfit that you came, that you chose? No. Oh, uh, it could have been jacket, better. I, I grabbed the wrong jacket because I put that jacket on to do my makeup in the car. So I... I could have had a better jacket. You guys, my brother. But it's, so sorry. It's all good. It's all good. I'm, yeah, I thought you looked beautiful. Um, Thank you. I, my brother, I told, you know, he asked me about the proposal. So I told him and I was like, yeah, I was at the place that Morgan and Justin like first became boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, and then he was like, I forget how my brother said this, but he said something like, he's like, was that like a, He's like, did it take a minute? I could see Morgan like taking like or like kind of like being like, well, like, you know, like taking a minute to actually like accept. Like he said something along those lines. And I was like, yeah, actually, he had asked her like prior and she's like, I'm not ready. And so then that was the time that like they finally, you know, were like legit. They're serious. Their boyfriend and girlfriend. It was at this hotel. And my brother was like, she should have done that for the proposal too. just kept the theme going being like, <laughs> you know, not right now, but maybe a little bit later. Oh, yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> and then and then and then he goes and then she could have gotten like a whole nother proposal with a whole nother like like <laughs> Justin is so. a one and done. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> but it's funny. No you bring chance. Up, it's funny you bring up the early days, Lauren, because you own a decent stock in this. I would say so. You own a decent percentage of you this. Guys, are so sweet. I really don't think I do, but like I no, love that you guys say that. Full, fully. <laughs> According to Morgan. I yeah. no, but I would I would wholeheartedly agree with that. I when I first started dating Justin, I didn't know what it was at first. Then we started going to like a movie and he put his hand on my leg and I was like, oh fuck, no, he doesn't want to be friends. So it was slow mm -hmm. like developing. He knew immediately after yeah. the first date. Yeah. But I didn't know because I think it's hard as a girl. It's like, I have a lot of guy friends. Mm -hmm. And so it isn't the easiest to know like, oh, are we actually just friends? Or like, are you interested in me? And you're using being friends as a ploy. Like that, right. that yeah. happens. So he did say like, hey, I'm new to LA, but I'm from Minnesota. Thought it'd be great to like connect, to like make new friends. And so I went in thinking, okay, we're just friends. Mm -hmm. That evolved. But I still didn't realize how much I liked him. Mm -hmm. And I remember being at your house and I don't know if we were just like doing sushi one night or what we were doing, getting mm -hmm. ready to go out or just movie night, whatever it was. But I remember like getting on the phone yeah. and like talking to him yeah. and you like afterwards, like looking at me and being like, you really like him. I was like, Morgan, <laughs> when we get home from a night of going out, because I think we all went out. Like, I Is think that we, what it was? Yeah, okay. I think it was like a club or bar or whatever. When we get home from like going out at night, we just met so many guys as we're bopping around bars and you you get home and you lay on my couch and the first thing you do is call this guy you like him Morgan he's not your friend because you're like I'm just gonna call my friend Justin I'm like Morgan you like him you Aww. like him a that's lot that's such a weird statement <laughs> that's so weird what? which part so the friend I'm gonna call my friend Justin like that's just weird to hear it is yeah and I, and I then, she might have not said that it was I so know long but ago. just no, even yeah. that no but I, I probably did and then I remember me saying like afterwards when you had said oh you really like him huh and I was like no I remember like looking up and being like no I was like well I you just, were yeah I remember also too when uh I first met him and we went to like we went to your house and with your roommate and then we all went out to a like a yard house yeah, yard, yard house, house. <laughs> yeah and then I remember when we were like le like either it was either we were showing up or we were leaving and you were just like I don't know and I was like no Morgan he's great I'm like that's like no like it's I was like I don't know what you're questioning like why are you so finicky so, Lauren's my champion there was, yeah from so the like, beginning those, <laughs> I know she did really good and so you own stock in this you can see it you <laughs> yeah. see it 
It's, you got some equity, Lauren. But I always laugh whenever people say like something like that. Like when they, like, let's say somebody like introduces somebody to someone else and they're just like, I'm the reason that you guys got like together. I'm the reason you guys got married because you met through me kind of thing. Then I'm like, are you going to also take responsibility if they get a brutal divorce? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, nope, or, that like, was on them. Yeah, That's yeah, on their yeah, side. That is true. Or like, or like if it turns into a toxic like relationship, like are you also like, I don't know. I just remember that no, in high you school. You made the intro. <laughs> what people do after that no yeah. well I, di- I really didn't do much but those two times like I do remember like definitely champion the relationship because I could see I could see Morgan like she was lighter and happier and like I've known her for a long time I've seen her talk to other guys like sh- I feel like she was a little bit more like um not as much herself as when she was with Justin like when she was, was with Justin it was like very it was so natural it was like it was her I was playing the cool girl like the when you were girl. dating other people you mean yeah yeah I, I, agreed like I was trying to be someone like a I would say a version of myself but not mm-hmm. wholeheartedly mm-hmm. me totally agree do you think you started with that with me just out of habit no, because there wasn't it, pressure with you at yeah. all. Because I went in thinking, oh, he just wants to be friends. Yeah. So I treated you as I would a friend. That's, me. You saw the weird side of me from the get-go. It is a nice way to start no dating pressure. someone. Yeah. No expectations. You're just like genuinely getting to know each other. Mm-hmm. That's good. And now here we are. So you heard why Peer B was important. I, I, you know, I said yes to being Justin's girlfriend there. Finally. Finally. And so... It was really amazing that it kind of came full circle. And when he proposed, it was him asking me to say yes, kind of versus the other way around. And so it was an amazing full circle moment. And we're excited for you guys to see it. Because I I emailed Pure B probably in June or July. Yeah. Thank you, Haley, for putting it all together at Pure B. Absolutely amazing. I want to check, but I think the email chain is up near 50 emails back and forth. Oh my gosh. All I knew I wanted was to do it at Pure B on their little rooftop deck with the Duluth bridge in the background, the lift bridge. And then also have, uh, you know, people from my family and friends and Morgan's family and friends so that as the proposal would go on, there's a secret upper deck, which you'll see in the video. And they were all hiding up there, standing up there, holding up the champagne and cheering. I just yeah. thought that would be the it was, best. It was really, really cool. And granted, these were people that were lying to me for days. Like I was confronting everyone. Like my brother Matt and Justin had come up with this whole elaborate excuse to like get Justin up to the land because that's why we went up to Duluth. He was going to go meet his grandpa up at his land. And so there was this elaborate plan to like, oh, yeah, my friend's got a wood splitter and I need help picking it up. And and Matt came up with that the day before. A lot of those ideas we did day before. And that just got my spidey senses going off. I was getting suspicious of people. Having to lie to her, like, it was just so tough. Coordinate our lies. We made up this excuse of like, we're going to come meet your horses finally and like ride your horses and this is pretty on brand for me. So this part was just like natural, but I'm like, naturally I'm going to be a cute horse girl and I'm going to dress cute so that we can take photos. And that intentionally, that intention behind that was like, okay, if I get cute, Morgan will be like, well, then I want to get cute. So I was trying to inspire her to like, Hey, we're going to dress up today. Like we're going to get cute and take pictures. Okay. Well, it, Minnesota decides to rain, not just rain, her barn like flooded. So I'm like, fuck, like it's not the it's not the day to like dress up and like be cute. So I show up to her house and Duluth, the first thing she says to me and she looks at me and goes, You're way too cute to be in a barn. And I'm like, this old thing? Like, what do you mean? Like, they're just jeans. Cause I'm trying to get her to like want to get ready. So anyway, we get her ready. You know, we take her to Wild State Cider first, have a couple brewskis, get her a little a little loose. We we were like, Justin, I promise we won't get her drunk, but like we're going to get a little drink in her before, you know, take the edge off. And Justin is texting me frantically all day. Like, we're just like, dude, it's so hard to keep this lie. Like, she's asking so many questions. She's wondering like where Justin went, where has he been all day? So he's texting me like, Ale, she's going to be mad at me. Like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, Justin, put your phone away. And he's like, she's going to be mad at me. And I'm like, let her. Like, it's temporary. And when she finds out why she'll not be mad and she'll forget all about this. And so he's like, okay, okay. 
So I had to change Justin's name. We had this whole like coordinated thing. Lauren comes to, now we're in on it. Lauren, I'm texting Lauren, like get your ass here. Like she's asking me so many questions and I feel like a freaking socio because she's like, everyone's being weird today and everyone's lying to me. And I had to look her dead in the eyes and go, that's weird. Well, I'm not lying to you. Most sociopathic thing, I like should get an Oscar. Like maybe I should go into acting. I had to stoic, be like, that's so weird. Like at least I'm not lying to you. So I think we tricked her at one point because she was like, well, if my best friends aren't in on it, then there's no way he's proposing. And we're like, yeah, come on. You think I'd wear, you think I'd wear this for your proposal, Morgan? And it's like, it's exactly what I wore. So I was, I was so suspicious. And then my mom was avoiding me, which she was just avoiding me because she had shit going on. She didn't actually know. But I figured she was avoiding me, so she wouldn't say something. My grandma kind of avoided me and avoided making the cake together, which I was really mad about. But I was I think, hoping you would do that the first day we got there because that would have given me an easy out. Yeah. Oh, my grandpa's here. I got to... Oh, okay, bye, because you're busy. And then when you said, nope, we're doing it the next day, I'm like, I texted about, I'm like, we need something. And yeah. that's when he came up with the dinner and like oh, the log splitter. and <laughs> it, was, it was a whole thing. But it was amazing and um i'm so excited for you guys to watch this video well and there's a clip too that you'll see where jerry and i are in the car debating if you were aware and you were just playing games with us i was like 99 percent sure 50 percent sure 100 percent sure 90 percent sure it really fluctuated based on the responses i was getting from people and you know as you'll as you'll see with lauren she she was good alejandra was really good just had two little actresses for besties. Hey, we pulled it off. Pulled it off. Okay, enjoy this video, you guys. It's so cute. So this is us driving up to Duluth from Minneapolis. We are super jet lagged. We're really excited to go see the ponies and for Justin to go up to his grandpa's land. And then fast forward, a little bit of time has passed at this point where I was able to get away from Morgan with the whole excuse with Matt. And then Matt and I get to his friend Pete's house. And this is where I'm going to be staying for the night. Then we were off to Pier B to go see Jerry. Who was supposed to be in Virginia. Oh, he'll explain. Give me your money. I'm in Washington, D.C., working on the debt ceiling crisis, trying to make sure we have uh, a payroll coming next week. I've been working diligently with the Congress and the Senate. Uh, no one seems to really care what I have to say. <laughs> but I'm there anyways, and I'm really glad you guys caught me working hard. Yeah. Yes. Me and Justin. Washington, D.C. Me and Justin are... Um, I'm loading a log splitter right now. Yes, we are. Then Matt and I started scoping out how this would all play out since we were right next to the deck. Right here to be like... Correct. We're going up to the land. Um, we're sitting here in our conversation trying to decide if Morgan knew or not as she tried to put a... I said she tried to snare Justin today by just saying, hey, I got a picture from one of my friends, my dad's in town. And Justin just responded like, that's weird. <laughs> but he doesn't think that she's trying to snare him. She thinks that picture was real. And I said, nah, I think it's, it's her mom and her up to something. I, I don't think so. I think they're trying to snare me. I don't think so. So we're going to find out. We will. We'll let you know. But why are we going to land? Uh, we are going to the land to substantiate that Justin <laughs> went to the land, so he always tells the truth. There we go. That uh, he did go to the land. He may not have accomplished everything that he set out to do, like, you know, <laughs> work for 12 hours and go cover everything up, because that's not going to happen with these hands. No, <laughs> we could. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. And um, Justin is getting ready to... Uh, as they say, get down on a knee. I guess so. So um, we'll probably spice a lot this up because some, even within some of the two hot takes and the father knows a crowd, they are waiting for this desperately. And now we're on our way. We're about uh, 10 minutes out from the, uh, the land. Yes. So that's all, folks, for right now, as uh, Bugs Bunny would say. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's all, folks. And we'll chat with you later. 
He's here. My first experience at the uh, the infamous retreat. <laughs> And then the boys show up. My two guys, Jake and Austin, coming to help me pull this off. Both flew into town. We went back to Pete's. That's where we were all crashing and just kind of getting ready for the next big day. Next morning, raining, of course, and like pouring rain. We got back to Pier B and it was time to get everything set up. Was it raining? Uh, it started to clear a little bit. Just the thing was the damn wind. Here's me getting about 50 bobby pins put in my hair so that it wouldn't blow up in my face and ruin the picture for the proposal. Filling up the champagne glasses for everyone for when we all screamed and celebrated as Morgan turned around. These two, Brooke and Mike, came all the way back from their Nashville trip early just to be here for this. And it was her birthday. And it was her birthday! And then... We made the final preparations. We put the flowers out last thing so that they would have the least chance of blowing over. And then it was time to do it. Go time, baby. I sped this next section up because I, I waited for a very long time for Morgan to get there. I had to pee. And then she comes out the door and walks over, immediately starts crying. I was crying in the elevator. I think this is like where I kind of blacked out. That's where I try to grab your hands <laughs> and you won't. <laughs> you have your hands on your mouth. I just wanted to get out there and I was like, this is so awkward. I just need, need to hug you first. And then you started talking and then I was like, nope, I black out. And here it is. I just remember saying, of course, of course. At that point, I'm like, okay, here we go. Everything, <laughs> everything's done. And I was so excited for this next part because as you can see, she still has not noticed everyone behind. I had no idea. Everyone was silent. And then right here with this hug, I tell you, look behind you. I'm like, oh my god, these fuckers. <laughs> I hate everyone. I've been so bad. <laughs> I was so annoyed at everyone all day. The amount of times I almost broke down crying that day because I felt so alone. <laughs> Fuck, I was supposed to take her purse. Fuck. It's okay, it's a cute purse. Fuck, I was supposed to take her purse. It's so cute. It is a cute purse. <laughs> <laughs> he looks great. Yeah. Can we go out there yet? <laughs> Can we yay? Then everyone came downstairs to join us with champagne. We're just kind of chatting with everyone. I'm confronting most of my family and friends. <laughs> and then my dad gave a little impromptu speech. His typical, I told him I could make him disappear. Oh, he killed it though. He did so good. After we enjoyed champagne with all of our family and friends, we took some amazing pictures with Marissa Lynn, Duluth-based if anyone needs someone. And next was the party.
Justin, my brother Matt, and Pete pulled this together, where we had a little after party at the social house. This right here. That camera. Hello, camera. And then, of course, I had to tuck my ponies into bed, show them my new ring. They're just so cute and tuckered out. And that was all she wrote. Yeah. 